looking at my car. My car right there. I don't know what that is. Problem working my car. Make sure they fuck my shit up. Y'all figured it out? Y'all was having problems with the car? Y'all figured it out? Yeah, he all cut it off. I think he did. But hey, what was wrong? Huh? What was wrong? You just trying to figure something out? Oh, yeah, I just figured out how to put it on. All good. All right. Like I couldn't, couldn't walk. BMW X6 for those who ask. Yeah. And I guess you didn't know how to put that on. No, it's an it's a X6 2022 BMW. Jealous of my eyebrows. <clears throat> Thank you. I got normal eyebrows and lashes. What are y'all talking about? Yeah, I want to act. I want to act. Um, I want to act. I want to model. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of things I want to get into outside of music. Uh, right now, you know, I have a candle line. Go to simplynakedcandlecoat.com. Uh, I'm in the preliminary stages, y'all. About to finally like close with my other business partners on our hookah lounge and bar and restaurant here in Atlanta. I'll tell y'all more about that when it's official. Um, of course, I'm a singer songwriter, so yeah, I definitely want to act. I definitely want to model uh, and have my own fragrance. I want my own skincare. So all those things are in motion now. Now that the music is doing its own thing. And I'm prospering, and that's on autopilot. Uh, and thank y'all for that. Thank God for that. I'm about to dabble into everything else. When y'all come to my hookah lounge, y'all, it ain't gonna be. It's gonna be so fly and sexy. But I'm gonna actually like when I'm when I'm at work, I'm gonna like actually serve you your hookah. You know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna I'm gonna service y'all. I ain't gonna just own it. You know I'm gonna be like I can't wait. So if you want, you know, whatever flavor you want, you, I might bring you out a drink or something. Like, I'm going to really make it that. I ain't going to just be like, oh, I'm the boss and show up and get my money. Nah, I'm going to make sure the people good. Make sure the customer service is elite. You dig? Yeah, I'm excited, though. We've been, I, I invested into the company, actually, last December. It just took us a long time to find a location that we loved. And I think we finally got one. And um, shout out to God for putting me back on tour because it's caused me a lot of a lot of money. But you know, scared money don't make money. So time to boss up.
it's gonna be on yeah it's, it's food it's food bar hookah the whole vibe the whole nine yeah it's on the south side actually i know i live on the south side of atl when am i coming out with new music um me personally like sammy top of the year uh it, the, the, this year's been beautiful i ain't really have to I haven't dropped the album in two years, but I haven't had to really do anything because I worked, you know, uh, I did I did a tour in October through November with the Millennium Tour. Then I toured with Eric Bellinger March through April, and I'm going back on tour Friday. So, like, I didn't really have to, I didn't really have the time to be in the studio like that for real. Been riding the wave, so. Uh, Yeah, I still got Sunsets. I still got Insomnia too. I started working on both of those during the pandemic. I just ain't really... It's not time, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's, it's funny being in this position. I used to think, like, I had to drop something all the time. Like, nah, it's like, it's cool now. Like, just coasting. When it's time, it'll be time. But right now, I don't really have to release music. Which is weird to say. But, um, it's a vibe. Whoever just asked the RSVP question, I just went in on these niggas 30 minutes ago. Somebody catch her up. We in shambles. That's the update. <laughs> we, we all set. Thank you, thank you. I'm excited. Yeah, Chase Forever, my best friend. She she been mad at me. Um, I didn't make it to her birthday shindig, and I really tried to, and it's actually RSVP's fault that I didn't. So she's been a little upset at me. Uh, leaving me on red and I answer my calls. But yes, that's still my best friend. I love her to life. She cannot get rid of me. And I just gotta make it up to her, you know? Um, yeah, forever my best friend. I love you, Chase. Mm -hmm. Stop ignoring my calls before I pull up unannounced, like a creep. I'll do it. The cheese was the dubs. No, I'm at the car wash. I'm getting my car wash. Then I'm going to church. For everybody that be in my like, little business, I'm good with everybody. I don't have no ex issues. I'm cool with Chase. Court is still bestie. I don't, I don't know. Like, you know what I stopped doing on Instagram? Like, because I've been in like a few relationships in my life, right? And I, I don't have no problem loving my person or dating somebody out loud but like for real for real i realized that people don't like to see particularly i'm gonna speak for myself me happy or involved with somebody like if i get a girlfriend right now i'm probably gonna lose twenty thousand followers and then a girl who i used to have dealings with they'll like uh slide into the girl's dm with a fake page or her friend and they'll start trying to make an issue so like i love my people in private i'm not posting no girl you know what i'm saying i'm not doing none of that like the next time y'all see me post a woman she will have a ring on her left you know ring finger uh or pregnant you know what i'm saying like that's the only way i'll ever do that because i realize hurt people likes to hurt people instead of healing them so i don't i don't post I don't post nothing, like, nothing. If I got a girlfriend, it ain't y'all business. If I got a baby on the way, it ain't y'all business. And you won't know until I want you to know. Like, I'm never doing that, man. Like, Instagram and the place. So, like, you have to protect your happy. You have to protect your energy. Some people don't agree with moving like that, but that's how I move. So, like, I let y'all think anything. 
If I don't post uh, such and such, then they think, oh, something must have happened. Oh, the whole time kicking it with the person right near the name. So I live in reality. I don't live here. I show y'all what I want to show y'all. I show y'all my music. I show y'all godliness. I show y'all RSVP. That's all y'all getting from me. Y'all not getting into my love life and my family because some of y'all just won't be happy for me. You know what I'm saying? And I respect that. It's stupid that I can't be happy out loud, but I'm not. I'm not doing that. So all those questions that I see in these comments like, are you in such and such cool? I'm glad y'all confused. I'm glad y'all don't know because some of y'all like misery and misery loves company. So I'm not the one to play with. And then like, I go from being like Sammy to crazy if somebody try to like disrupt my happy. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't, I don't play that. Y'all and, and y'all need to take, y'all need to follow suit. Y'all be trying to be like couple goals and all that the whole time they miserable and in therapy trying to figure it out. So me, the next time y'all see me post a girl, she will be with the child or in union, you know what I'm saying? Period. That's it. And whoever don't like it, God bless you. And whoever does support it, God bless you. And I'm never answering no questions about who I'm dating, who I love, who I'm sexing. Who I hang with like that No Because y'all think Instagram is like real Some of it is But some of it's not So um, Me and whomever y'all asking about We good